All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale, sale item review of this bird's eye garlic chicken, grilled white meat chicken and pasta in a garlic sauce with broccoli, carrots, and corn. All right, normal price, $10.69. It was $3.30 off, so that would make it $7.40, around $7.40, $7.39. Okay, there we go. So, got that. 63 ounces, 11 grams of protein per serving. Chicken raised without antibiotics, if that's important to you. Um, you got this pull open resealable Ziploc bag pouch style. All right, net weight 63 ounces, 3 pounds 15 ounces, 1.79 kilograms. <clears throat> Keep frozen, do not thaw, cook thoroughly, see cooking instructions. All right, inspected. Uh, okay. And 240 calories. Oh, well, we'll see that in the serving um, nutrition and stuff. Let's pick up the back. Do they have an expiration date on here anywhere? Best Buy. I don't see one. I don't know. I don't see one. So I'm not sure. Is it hidden? No. Oh, here you go. Best Buy, February 22nd, 2025. We bought this on February, oh, sorry, on April 12th, 2023. So this lasts almost two years. Delicious home cooked meal in just minute, uh, is just minutes away. Hearty, complete meals from skillet to table in just 24 minutes or less. No preservatives, no artificial flavors. Okay, I think I've actually tried one of these before. I don't know if it was by the same company, but Costco had something like this before. Keep frozen, do not thaw. Okay, microwave directions. Develop with a 1,100 watt microwave oven. Appliances vary, adjust cooking times as needed. Food must be cooked thoroughly to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Stove top, if you're cooking the whole bag, empty the entire meal into a 12 inch, uh, deep 12 inch nonstick skillet. Add 12 inch, oh, how, how deep? <laughs> How deep is the skillet supposed to be? What do they mean by a deep? Okay, so 12 inches is the diameter, not the depth. Because otherwise, that's not a skillet. That's a pot. All right, anyways. Add half cup water. Cover and cook over medium-high heat. 16 to 22 minutes. Stirring occasionally. Check that the food is cooked thoroughly. Careful. It's hot. Stir and serve. All right, stove top. A third of the bag. So if you only cook a third of the bag... Then put about six cups of it into a large nonstick skillet. Add a quarter cup of water. Cover and cook over medium high heat, nine to eleven minutes. Stirring occasionally. Check that food is cooked thoroughly. Careful, careful, it's hot. Stir and serve. I'm probably gonna do the microwave method, but uh, here you go. Empty one third of the frozen meal, about six cups, into an eight inch square microwave dish, safe dish. Add two tablespoons of water and cover. Microwave on high. For five minutes, stir thoroughly and replace cover. Microwave an additional four to six minutes. And then check the food is cooked thoroughly. Careful, it's hot. Let's stand covered two minutes. Okay, the problem with this is I have to cook a third of the bag. I cannot eat six cups. Of, I'm not going to eat six cups of this. I have lots of videos, lots of stuff to review. So, um, let's see. The problem is they want you to microwave it to certain amounts of time based on like the steam will be forming and stuff so how am i gonna adapt this because i only want like a bowl like a, a one bowl not even a full bowl because i'm reviewing a bunch of stuff so i'll have to figure it out i'll add a little water this says two tablespoons i'll probably just add a little like a teaspoon and then yeah we'll microwave it for adjusted times i'll probably like microwave it for Two minutes, stir it around, microwave another two minutes, stir it around, and then we'll see how it's going. Um, that's probably a lot. And then it says to let it sit for two minutes um, and then stir. And, um, but yeah, it says we have to cover it. So let me get a bowl and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I got one of these bowls with this much water. Um, we do need to look at the nutrition facts and stuff though. You can see 10 servings per container, one and three quarters cups. Uh, 176 grams. See, so they want me to cook like four or five servings in one go. <laughs> Anyways, calories, 240 um, calories. Fat, 8 grams, 10%. Saturated fat, 1.5 grams, 8%. Carbs, 
cholesterol 25 milligrams 8 percent sodium 660 milligrams 29 percent carbs 29 grams 11 percent fibers 3 grams 11 percent sugars 8 grams uh, with 0 uh, grams of added sugars proteins 11 grams 16 percent 50 milligrams of calcium 4 percent iron 1.5 milligrams 8 percent potassium 470 milligrams 10 percent Got the ingredients here are vegetables, which include broccoli, carrots, and corn, the pasta with garlic sauce cooked with enriched pasta, uh, water and enriched wheat flour, durum wheat, semolina, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's soybean oil, modified whey, salt, garlic seasoning, garlic, which is garlic powder, sugar, spices, yeast extract, salt, whey, enzyme, modified milk fat, natural flavors, and then there's enriched wheat flour, which is wheat. Uh, wheat flour with niacin, reduced iron, uh, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, and folic acid. Then there's natural flavor, garlic oil uh, blend, which is made from medium chain triglycerides, natural flavor, so and soy lecithin. Then there's grilled white meat chicken coated with seasoning. Uh, the seasoning is chicken, water, potato, starch, seasoning uh, made from sugar, garlic, dehydrated, Romano cheese, uh, made from part skim, skim, cow's milk, cheese cultures, salt, and, and enzymes. Then there's dehydrated onion. And then there's salt, sodium, phos, uh, sodium phosphates, um, natural flavor, soy lecithin, coating ingredients, or corn flour, enriched wheat flour, made from wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, folic, and folic acid. And then there's salt. Cornstarch, spices, paprika, garlic powder, extractives of paprika. Um, contains wheat, milk, and soy. So if you're allergic to those, be careful. And you can see some other information for the company. And this isn't recyclable. All right. Let's go ahead and open this up. Again, I got some a little bit of water in this bowl. We'll see how this goes because they don't have instructions for cooking a little bit of it. I've had this before. Um... So I kind of know what it tastes like. It's really good. That's why I bought it again. Plus, I need to make a review. So let's get some of this in this bowl. Okay, that's already plenty because I am going to be reviewing a bunch of other stuff. So I'm eating too many meals in one. Okay, so again, I'm going to cover this with some ceram wrap, plastic wrap, cling wrap, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll microwave it for like two minutes. And then we'll stir it up, microwave it another two minutes, and we'll see. It's probably going to be too long because this isn't much food in here, but we'll see. Okay, four minutes is a long time to cook this little food, but hopefully that water in the bottom will help. All right, I'm going to microwave this for two minutes. I'll come back, show you what it looks like, stir it up, and we'll probably microwave it another two minutes. All right, so I'm back. It's been two minutes. Uh, my microwave is a 1200 watt microwave though, so I guess it's extra powerful. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and open this up and stir it up a little bit. I don't think another two minutes is gonna be necessary. Maybe another one minute, I don't know, minute and a half or so. Um, but we'll stir it up a little bit. Okay, you can see it's kind of absorbing the water, getting steamy in there. Okay, so let me go ahead and close this back up. And I think I'll microwave it maybe a minute and a half. And then I'll let it sit in the microwave for two minutes and we'll see what we got. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, so I actually only let it cook for one more minute and then I let it sit for two minutes. Let's go ahead now and open this up and see what we got. Be careful because there's hot steam in this. Come on, there we go. Ooh. Let go. Okay, so you can see it kind of shrank a little bit after I cooked it. I'm just going to stir it around. I'll let the steam come out because it's way too hot. Okay, let me toss the plastic wrap real quick. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. So we've got a noodle here. Since he has these sorely noodles. Mm -hmm. It actually cooked well in the microwave like that. Okay. I wouldn't take the time to do it in the pot if I can do it like this. It's not that difficult. 
unless I'm cooking it for like a whole bunch of people, then I would just do it this way. Mm -hmm. Broccoli is very soggy. Ow. Fell off the other broccoli. I actually like my broccoli more raw where it has more some crunch to it. But, um, yeah, the only way you can do that with this is you'd have to get your own fresh broccoli and take out this stuff. Super hot. Has a nice light flavor. Hot. Maybe you want to give that more time to cool down. This is what the chicken looks like. Okay, this part looks like actual piece of chicken. This part looks like they made some weird nugget or something. Mm. Has a nice, nice flavor. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think this is pretty good. Nice and easy to make, to make it in your microwave. Or in a pot, pan, whatever. Mm hmm. Pretty good. The noodles came out nice after microwaving with some water. Um, the only thing is, you don't want to just microwave it full blast right away. You do want to microwave it a little, stir it up, and close it back up, microwave it a little longer. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you see this at your Costco and this seems like something you'd like, it has a nice herb flavor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it yeah go give it a try thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye